Hey folks, Wayne over here at the Ram Man Inc. Don't forget the ink. Hey, we've got this set of Jeep hubs and uh, they're going to France. Yeah. Isn't that pretty cool? Good old boys got uh, a 2007 uh, Sahara over there in France and placed in order. So, yeah, I just wanted to go over a couple things about our Jeep hubs. Of course, now, we're the only ones in the world that uh, do this or have done this. Uh, this is a factory Jeep hub. So, of course, the wheels fit and blah, blah, blah. Once again, this is a factory Jeep hub. Uh, it is a Tempkin. Uh, Tempkin bearings are the finest in the world. Just ask uh, any tech. Right here in the back, we have uh, placed a HK3520 uh, cage needle bearing. Uh, this is uh, 16 millimeters wide. Uh, whereas the Ford Super Duty, which use the same uh, design, they only have a 12. Here's an example of one, a B210, which is in the back of a Ford Super Duty. And uh, we just happen to have one right here. This large bearing hub is for a Ford Super Duty uh, all the way through uh, 2004. So, we decided to uh, increase the load by going with a much bigger one. As you can see, it's, it has grease on right here. This is where the stub shaft rides. So, you would call that the stub shaft bearing. What's unique about our setup is, which is very cool, is uh, there's no way to grease that bearing even on a Ford Super Duty unless you disassemble that. But it is replaceable. They are off the, sh off the shelf. This is a B210 and uh, this is a HK3516, which designates 35 millimeter by 16 wide. Isn't that really cool? So you can remove the locking assembly it just slides on and then it clips on to it clips on to the hub you can remove it and with our design there's just enough clearance where you can take our red 10 inch straw are you with me or another one and you can come through here down along the side and you can grease your bearing at will with like some white lithium spray grease so you're able to grease this thing anytime you feel like and you can also grease the large bearing uh, right here through the ABS port. This is where your interlock braking system wire screws in, magnetic pickup, and you just disconnect it. And you can uh, push this little fitting in. It's got a little O-ring. And uh, you can hook up your grease gun while it's on the vehicle. I got, want you guys to understand this wheels on, rotors on, all this, uh, and it's never been done before. Uh, no capability. So, uh, here's our so uh, locking mechanism right here, and uh, it slides right on and uh, clips down right there and it's secured. And, of course, we've got our 27 splines, which match our lockers. That's the way uh, locking, locking assemblies work. Mm. That doggone gear right there. It's not greased up. Goofball. Ah, there we go. So, that's how they work. Free spin mode. And, of course, your locking mode. All right? So, that takes care of that. So, you uh, unbolt and slide off your old hub. Change out your stub shaft. If you'll notice, this stub shaft is a, a lot bigger and a lot stronger than the factory ones. This is a 35 millimeter ground and polished shaft. Um, these are all 4340, uh, top of the line and uh, it dwarfs the original shaft and so it just goes right in there and then the locking mechanism slides right on and push it down so there you go my friends here's an example of uh, 
the earlier Jeep lock and hubs through like 2007 and uh, like I said so uh, factory unit factory ABS anti-spin anti-lock and all that fully street capable and all factory design parameters are utilized and unaffected God bless you God bless America and uh, happy jeeping. Bye.